Our coverage for the Galaxy S6 and HTC One M9 is sponsored by CellCashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you a quick quote and the most cash for your iPhone. What's up guys and welcome to another ultimate camera comparison video. This time we are facing off the HTC One M9 against the iPhone 6 Plus. But before we jump into some samples, let's take a quick look at their specs. So the M9 has a 20.7 megapixel rear-facing camera with an aperture of 2.2 that can shoot up to 4K resolution at 30fps. And the iPhone 6 Plus has an 8 megapixel camera with an aperture of 2.2 that can shoot only up to 1080p at 60fps. Some notable camera features on the 6 Plus include digital and optical image stabilization as well as continuous autofocus. Unfortunately, the M9 has only digital image stabilization, but the M9 can also shoot in slow-mo at 120fps, whereas the 6 Plus can shoot in 240fps. For front-facing cameras, the M9 has a 4 megapixel camera that can shoot in 1080p, whereas the 1.2 megapixel camera on the 6 Plus can only shoot in 720. Alright, so that's it for the specs. Let's sit back, relax, and take a look at some samples. I hope you guys enjoy the video.
What's up you guys, it's Ed from TechSource and this is the sound and stabilization test between the two phones that you see on the screen. Also make sure to look at the audio icon somewhere on the screen and it will indicate which phone's audio it, uh, is being used basically. Now all phones are strapped on to one device and they are secured so basically what you are looking at is a fair and controlled stabilization test. Also if you guys are into these types of camera tests then make sure to hit that subscribe button because there is a lot more coming soon. When it comes to autofocusing, the 6 Plus does a fantastic job utilizing its Focus Pixels feature to quickly detect the object and focus right on it. Not only is it super fast, but it's also very accurate. The M9 doesn't have continuous autofocus, which is a bummer, so you do have to focus by touching the screen, which can get annoying really fast. So both phones honestly did a great job during the day. I have no complaints on either phone. The M9 does seem to have a bit more contrast however, which is completely fine by me. Even indoor shots are great on both phones. Exposure and white balance are great. However, the M9 overexposes when targeting black objects. When it comes to selfies, the M9 is the clear winner. The 6 Plus pick looks very washed out, whereas the M9 takes more rich and vibrant selfies. Switching to night shots is where we have a problem. The M9 is just straight up bad. There's just too much white noise and blurriness everywhere. Even though both phones have the same 2.2 aperture, the M9 falls short. In fact, their flash is even worse than last year's model. It completely overexposes the shot, so I'm gonna have to give the point to the 6 Plus for low light pictures. For daylight video, both phones do a great job. However, the focusing on the M9 tends to wander a lot, creating a very shaky viewing experience. The only advantage that the M9 has for video is that you can film in 4K, which means that there's a lot more detail and more room to work with if you do cropping. I honestly would like to see them stick to 1080p and add optical image stabilization instead because there's just too much shakiness in the video and I feel that the 4K option is useless to most people. I will give a point to the M9 however for having a much louder and clear audio when recording. For low light video performance, the 6 Plus takes a point once again. The M9 really suffers in overall low light performance and that doesn't seem to have changed from the last year's model. There's a lot of white noise and the image is just too dark depending on the light source and you really just don't want to use the M9 in low light situations at all. So the final verdict is, well, the 6 Plus is your obvious choice when it comes to overall camera performance. The only reason I would pick the M9 over the 6 Plus is if I take a lot of selfies and photos during the day. Now if you're a night owl and love taking pictures, the M9 is not the phone for you, I'm sorry to say. Anyways, that's it for the video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree or disagree with my results? Drop a comment down below to let me know, as well as leave a like if you enjoyed the video or a dislike if you didn't. If you want to see more camera comparisons on your favorite smartphones, then be sure to hit that subscribe button because there are plenty more coming your way. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Ed from TechSource and I'll see you guys in the next video. So before I go, I wanted to share an awesome website with you guys. SellCashier.com is a site where you can sell your iPhone for the highest dollar amount. They purchase iPhones from all major US carriers and currently only operate in the United States. They purchase all of these iPhone models that you see on this page from all the popular carriers, even unlocked phones. To get a quick quote, you just simply pick your iPhone model, carrier, size, and condition of your iPhone, and the quote will immediately display. If you like the quote, then you can just add it to your cart and check out. They will even send you a prepaid label and a box for free. You can also choose how you want to be paid. They can either send you a check or you can get paid directly from PayPal. So if you want to sell your iPhone, don't go anywhere else because Sell Cashier will give you the most cash for your iPhone. Also make sure to check out their website for updated prices. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.